So this question starts out by giving us a system of inequalities here. We have y is greater than 2x minus 1 and 2x is greater than 5. So the rest of the question says which of the following consists of the y coordinates? I think that's important wording. I'll tell you why in a second. So of the y coordinates of all the points that satisfy the system of inequalities above. So we're used to seeing systems of equations and there's certain rules that we know about systems of equations. I'll just say sys of equations or EQ. I'll do this thing, equations. Um, and typically for system of equations, we're using either substitution or a process called elimination. However, the fact that it says which of the following consists of the y-coordinates, this makes me think about a graph. So whenever a question describes a graph, I immediately go into plug in picture mode, which is my strategy that I like to use for these types of questions, which basically means anything that can be drawn, I'm going to draw it. I'm not going to imagine um, a graph or I'm not going to imagine y coordinates. So I'm going to actually draw an x and y axis. I'm going to actually graph these two inequalities. So starting with the first one, which I'll graph in red, this is in the form, so y is greater than 2x minus 1, is in the form of y equals mx plus b. And when I say it's in the form of that, all I mean is that 2 is m, right? The number right in front of the x is the slope or m value. And negative 1 is the y-intercept or the b value. So I'm going to graph y is greater than 2x minus 1. By first of all, finding the y-intercept, I'm going to call this negative 1. And then finding the slope, if I go up two units, I'd end here at positive 1 on the y-axis. And if I go to the right one unit, I'd end at positive 1 on the x-axis with this point right here at 1, 1. Again, that's just by going up 2 and over 1, which is my slope. And then I'm going to have a dashed line through here. So hopefully you remember why I'm dashing this instead of making it solid. But even if you didn't, you would still get this question right. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. And then because y is greater than 2x minus 1, I know that my shading, right, all possible answers uh, exist above this dashed line. So next, I am going to graph uh, 2x is greater than 5. That is not in slope-intercept form. So instead, I'm going to just um, isolate the x value. So I get x is greater than 2.5. I go to my x-axis. I have 2. I have 3. So I have 2.5 here. And I'm going to draw a vertically dashed line because that is how you graph the line x equals or x is greater than positive 2.5 and then because it's greater than 2.5 i'm going to shade to the right right because those are where that's where all the x values are greater than 2.5 and then you can see that the overlap of the two shaded regions happen here right so i'm just going to outline this shape here and fill it in so this is where the solution to the system of inequalities. This is where it exists. So where is that? Well, it looks like it's above this y value, right? That corresponds with this intersection here. So I just need to figure out, well, what is that y value, right? Because it's gonna be y is greater than whatever this y value here is. So to find that y value, I am kind of gonna use like a substitution method and say, well, um, what is this point here? This is the point where x is equal to 2.5. I just want to know what y is at that point. So I'm going to take y is greater than 2x minus 1. I'm going to replace x with 2.5 and say y is greater than 2 times 2.5 minus 1. And that turns into y is greater than 5 minus 1, which turns into y is greater than 4. And therefore, my correct answer 
is choice B.